to close it out, you know, one of the things I like to pride myself on is being a realist. I think, you mm -hmm. know, uh, to be an executive and an owner, you have to be pretty much a realist. You can't be ideologic. You can't be an ideologue, you know, mm -hmm. um, unless, unless you're a sociopath. Um, mm -hmm. But I, I'm pretty a realistic guy. Let's just talk. Let's just talk about the what what you feel might be the biggest uh, impediment to cryptocurrency, perhaps Bitcoin or Ethereum. What's their biggest impediment for mass 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 use? Um, it's probably still just the user experience. Um, no one cares that it's uh, POP three and IMAP that are powering your email. No one cares that it's HTML five powering your web browser. They just want it to work and work really well and be free or ch extremely cheap and offer them a level of service that's better than anything else out there. And we're with Bitcoin, it's getting there, but it's not there yet. And so yeah. the, the people, you know, eight years ago, maybe, or, or six years ago was the real cutting edge. Um, the early adopters, the nerds, they were super geeky. And in the last three years, since that huge price run up that we talked about, you've gotten the next contingent of folks who are willing to invest a little bit of time, but not this level of nerd dumb that it requires to do encryption yourself or things like that. Um, and so, you know, in the next big price run up, so if, you know, we're 22 to today, if we set an all time price record this week, you know, just in excess of 25,000 Canadian, well, that will pick up the media cycle. And now that they don't have the election to talk about and the COVID story is, like we're bored of hearing that story because we know it's real. Then, um, you know, Bitcoin hitting 30, 40, 50 grand could present a huge wave of adoption. And when folks come to use the new tools that exist today, they're far better than they were last year and the year before and the year before, though some folks will still think, man, they could still be better. And that will, you know, just spur that next round of innovation and investment that's required to move the industry forward. Mm -hmm. But and I posted in that Facebook, I think that, that prompted us connecting every day. I'm in the industry. Every day I learn about a new company or new product, new service that runs on Bitcoin. Uh, yes. And, and that's 10 years later. So yes. yes. 